curves and I'm hearing all this curve stuff as I do more programming and so bump into Bezier curves and I'm like wait a minute <laughs> that's like a no-brainer this should be part of, of the software so uh, me not even knowing how the math can e be accomplished I found a source code that drew curves for you given the points unfortunately that curve drawing function didn't have a loop to where you can connect connect them together so which one am I screwing around with here would it even let me nope it's just for visuals well that's good too man you don't want to screw around in here how about the scale no nope, won't let me change anything in here rotation mm. oh, that's where the waypoint curve when you create the curves and move them you can probably actually see something move yeah, but anyway, I was screwing around with the function, and yep, so it's read only, and I couldn't get this to work. So, for instance, if I take this loop off, the curve has to be redrawn to show that it's terminating there. It does; it's not from here to continue on through. So, if the loop is connected it should have a curve from this point to this point and it should be smooth depending on what's going on here and, and that makes sense so what the function I downloaded it worked perfectly fine for this when I had it all like this but the minute I unchecked the loop these were bad so the ends screwed up one showed as it was coming in and the other one showed as it was going out and they weren't from the previous point they were from the next point from each of them so it it didn't give the the feel I wanted like this is a termination point you know it's a termination point so it's curving from here to here depending on the tangent that they create from these these two points so it in order for it to go from here to here this curve would be smooth and it would make a perfectly nice lump but that only depends what this curve is doing and it, it should work like that and so that this curve should totally adjust and change what's going on here and that didn't happen with the function that I I borrowed and I simply couldn't understand how it worked so yes I did a lot of reading a lot of research a lot of trial and error and I finally got my own Bezier curve working and better yet I I can control it I can manipulate it and I can make it do what I want so it ended up being better a lot more work but it the software is running a lot smoother now because I'm like that let's say for instance not making extra checks where I was before because I didn't know what was really going on and where I was making checks so it, it has it saved quite a bit you look at the performance here performance shows here oh cool so the the time is taking to process I guess the entire the entire curve for for each of the waypoints and setting the curve takes you know this much milliseconds the calculation from link to link takes uh, that much time updating the entire curve takes this much time and initializing the setup for the curve takes that much time they move around depending on which one's taking the, the most time so this this list uh, sorts itself by the one that's that's higher so um yeah that's how I, I came up these numbers were really big before 
that's why it's on a thread so it's on a thread because I was using someone else's curve drawing functions that I couldn't understand that um, calculating the links and setting the curves took a lot of time almost within the order of uh, a second and it was crazy so I had to like try my own my own hand at it and this is the result and hopefully I can get this out to people who are waiting to use it so now I have 16 segments here you notice some something had to have changed here there's more things to process now